What's the name of this game? Uh, Team Color Tag. Oh, great. All right, you guys are right there. Right there. Team Color Tag. Like a little kid. <laughs> Yes, but if, especially if you got big people. It, yeah. Put it around your ankles. Around both ankles, standing shoulder width apart. All right. We're going to do the ice cream cone first. So I need the person that 
that is facing this way, standing facing like I am, to take one foot out. All right? Student's going to take one foot out. All right. The other person go a little bit further than shoulder width so it makes a triangle like an ice cream cone. All right? Keep it up. No. Right. Yeah, let's not break now, my ribbon. The one we're going to do today, I'm going to use you guys as a demonstration. With Wednesday, we learned the in, out, in, out, remember? Same step, except now you got a little more difficult. You can start out warming up here and then go back so it's a little further apart. So you're going to go in, out, in, out, in, out, on. All right? But we're not going to move it up. So we're going to do each of the, everybody go one turn doing that. Make sure you're switching who's holding and who's not. All right? Go. Ice cream cone. And in the game, you would actually move up. But. Good job. Next person. Next person. Normally, we would move it up our legs, but we're running a little short on time. Yeah, we're just trying to learn what it's called. Learn the variation. Oh, look at that. In, out, in, out, in, out, on. The people uh, holding the rope should be yelling the in, out, in, out, on part. You chant. Like you do in jump rope, you know? Come on, you're on camera here. Good job. This one's the diamond. So I need both people, the both holders, to put both ankles in and then shoulder width apart. Alright, in the efforts of safety, I'm just going to have you guys take it and make a diamond like that and hold it ankle width apart with your ankles in it. Alright? So the jumper is going to put, and so you make it like the diamond right there in the center. The jumper. You guys are holders? I'm the jumper. Alright? And this time, instead of being out, what we're doing is, when you're going to jump, your feet are going to come together, you're going to 180 degrees. All right? So that's together, apart, together, up, apart, all right? And then your next one, you're going to go 90 degrees, so you're going to face this way, and then you're going to jump out, but you're going to jump on the rope. All right? So you're going to do on, but you're going to hit it and get it on. All right? Y'all ready to try it? Anybody got any questions? Part together. Part together on. All right, you ready? Go. It's a part. You get put your legs together on the second one. Yeah, when you turn around, there you go. There you go. A little more difficult with the baby guy. Yeah, getting your feet out is a fun thing to do. <laughs> Let's see if Geraldine can do this. She gets an A just for her shoes today. Oh, she got out. She just didn't get on. I want to see the first person that succeeds at this. I know Alonzo can do this. Come on, Alonzo. No pressure. No pressure. One. Two. Got to be together. It's a part together. <laughs> we bragged you too much. Also, if you use the those elastic ones are a easier than these. But good people can still do this. You know, you can. He got out, but he didn't get on. And what, what, what were the names of these two things? Ice cream cone and diamond. Well, we're doing the cross today.
I have one thing to say before we get started. These blocks need to be on the ones on the ground. The ones that are in the air don't need a block. But that what I'm saying is we worry about them smashing their fingers more than we worry about... They yeah. You understand what I'm... Yeah. I don't think I explained that very well, but... The cross. your right leg every time. Right. Turn. Mm -hmm. So let's try it without the sticks moving first. Yeah. Right. We need kind of a team captain for each group. Right. Well, what happened? This is really scaring me and my ankles. It's, it's not dangerous. It's not. It's not. The first time I did sneak and I thought I was ready to go. Well, you can don't have more stop pushing yourself so much. Try to do right. it dry land first. Don't do so, it. Okay. Just like when you're ladder. Did you just find when you're ladder? Yeah. It's a little different. Yes, it is different. You're a true beginner. You're not going to hurt yourself. Just, just don't. Continue. Be stupid. You know, don't. Yeah, you'll be fine. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah. Okay. 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 It's no different than running tires. Tires are, you can trip on tires too. Yeah. If you've got big feeted people, you need to be wide, 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 right? Look, pull those in a little bit so that you can hold on to the pole. Yeah, do it without all of you. All of you do it at the same time. Just don't beat. You know, get four of you there and see if you can all move together. That's what our next step is. Okay. Let's flip this group up and the other He's scared. To, I wanted him to do it without beating because he's yeah. kind of nervous. He's afraid he's going to hurt his ankle. Oh. I've never had anybody <laughs> hurt themselves so seriously. Though. We can slow the beat down so he's not going to trip or anything. That's why the two big guys are in the same group so they can make sure they get. Far enough apart, so you guys ankles aren't going to hit each other. You do not have to succeed, you just have to try. Just try one time without a moving. You just did it? Alright. Are y'all ready to do it with the, with the beat? Y'all ready? Alright, good. Get the beat started, follow their beat. to do it some groups are pausing between that they cross and then they count two beats and then they do it and some people are not make sure whichever way you do it you all do it the same
gonna be able to pause. All right. But you guys are getting it down. You're getting it there. All right, with people. Yeah. It also helps if you count. You count for them yeah. so they can hear that. One, two. Yeah, scoot your blocks in just a little bit so you get, scoot them in a little bit so you have them, so you can, not that much, just so you can ha grab them, you know? With your right foot. If you do a quarter turn every time, your right foot will be right next to the pole. Okay. Can we still turn around and be like go straight ahead? If you go straight ahead, it makes it more difficult. It's just if you can do that. It's just you don't want to teach little kids to do that because they can't do it. Gotcha. But right now, I just you just need to get some repetitions in, so it really doesn't matter. Just get where you can, you know, the feet and the beat move. Do it. Yeah. Widen the sticks a little bit. everybody. She's doing a good job. Watch when Stu does it, how he turns. He's turning every time and your feet are skinnier sideways than they are front and back. So if you're trying to do it forward, it's hard to get your feet to fit between the sticks. Could you do it just a little bit just so they can see it? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. 
Hold the pulse for him. Get in a get in a corner. Yeah, big people need long poles. Is that longer? Doing well.
Kids, they're not gonna know who no, he's talking little about. Kids don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> All right, now we can try with the rope. So Alonzo's gonna show us real quick before we start swinging. Alonzo's gonna do the skier back and forth, side to side. Good. Jump he does look like a boxer. Line, or pretend your rope still looks like a boxer. Give it a shot, guys. Good. 
Try with the ropes, see how we're doing? Yep. Try and keep your feet together too. Try not to spread them out too hard. Let's watch Alonzo go first. <laughs> no, tough. no. Tough. It's kind of like rubbing your belly and patting your head at the same time. Oh yes, look at that. Look at these coordinated individuals here. They look like PE teachers. They can do this. Y'all ready? Let's pick those ropes up. Let's see it, Alonzo. It's a pacer. Pacer. Good. There you go. Give it a try, guys. Try and turn that foot out. One step at a time. Good. Good, Gerald. There you go. Gerald Lynn's got it. It's those tennis shoes that she's wearing. It's the shoes. It's she's got cool feet. Cool feet. Cool feet. Joe's got it. All right. Yes, yes, he's good. Okay. Good. Rest for a second. We're gonna try another one. We're gonna try touching our toes. So we're gonna jump, touch your toe, jump, touch your other toe. Just tap your toe every time. And if you have to, you can do one, touch your toe, come back, touch your other toe. If you need a space in between, not everybody might be able to go toe to toe every time, right? So you can space it out. Try it out, guys. Try and just tap your toe while you jump. Keep try and keep your hands low, too. Try not to make big arm circles. Good, Dylan. Okay, good on uh, Watch this rhythm. It's just going slow. Never, never change his feet. Look Try at that skill. He didn't even tell he's got a rope. Y'all are getting better. Good, guys. Now we're going to take a break. Now we're going to switch it. Now we're going to try and touch our heel. Try and touch your heel right in front of you, okay? Same thing, same concept. Except we're going to touch our heel in the front now. Try and keep that rope spinning at the same speed so you got a rhythm. Ready? Give it a try. Try and stay close to your dots, guys. Claire's got it going on over there. Good job, Claire. Let's do it. Let's go. I think we're ready to move on. All right, guys, look. Now we're going to try and combine the two. One last trick. We're going to try and touch your heel, touch your toe. Touch your heel, touch your toe. 
Last one, give it a try. Try and combine them. It's a tough one. Let's give it a line over to you. Of course he got it. What about Terry? What about Ted? Oh, he got it. That's a little harder, huh? Heel toe, heel toe, heel toe. <laughs> Speed rope. It's a rocky montage. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> One more try. One more try. All right, guys. Take a lot of time. Bring me your ropes right here. Put them on my arms, guys. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Once you do, I want y'all to go grab three scars. Or if you're good at juggling already, like you've been doing, try and grab a bean bag. Three beans. Hustle, please. Quick, quick, quick. We're running out of time. Let's go, let's go. <laughs> Y'all go grab three small or three bean bags. Go back to you. Our three tennis balls. Go back to you, Dot. Back to you, Dot. Back to you, Dot. The advantage of bean bags is when you drop them, they don't run all over the place. The little ones are really hard. The baby ones are hard. Come on, let's see those scar. Start going. See if we can review. How do you do it? Make your X. He was hiding. There he is. Alonzo, one more time since he's got juggling down pretty good. So what we're gonna do, put two bean bags or two scarves, two tennis balls in your dominant hand. Whichever hand you wanna throw with first, you want two in that hand. We're gonna do shower juggling. Showers all in one big circle, okay? So once you throw one up, when it's coming back down, you gotta transition. So you gotta throw the other one and pass it over. Okay, so it's gonna be, there you go. It's all in one big circle. Throw with your dominant hand. Try to stay in one spot. Good guys, try to make one big circle. So we're trans we're throwing one up, transitioning over. Throw with your right, pass with your left. If you're right here. Okay. Oh, you only throw with the right hand. Only throw up with the right hand. If you have trouble, look, start with just, start with just two bean bags. Drop them on the floor. Or two scarves or two tennis balls, whichever you have. And work on throwing up, and as it's coming down, transition to the other hand. This is much more difficult than the All in one big circle. Good, Stu. Good. All right. Got it, got it. Hold it for one second. Hold on, hold on. Now we're gonna try cascade juggling. What we're gonna do is we're gonna cross them. So they're gonna cross into each other every time. Start with, start with two in each hand. Yeah, you're gonna cross over, throw the other one up. Okay, so when you throw over right hand, you can catch it in your left hand. So if we need to start with two, go for it. Look, here we go. Look, he's got it right here. He's Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, Rick's got this. Of course he would have tennis balls, obviously. I should have known that. Good job, Rick. Baseball players are usually, up, they do this well because they're bored in the dugout so much. All we need is a little music and we'd be going to town. Dylan's got it. He's got it. Cascading, make it beautiful. Like you're performing at the circus. Good, Joe. Joe's got it easy too. We should all join the circus. It's amazing. Y'all are getting it and you haven't done a thousand repetitions yet. It means you're not any normal bear.
And it, guys, I think Rick's still going to the south. Anton! Alright guys, if y'all got your handkerchiefs and beanbags, oh, pick up your dot for me, please. 